in the fertile coastal regions of southeastern United States is the heart of our tobacco country, Tobacco and USA. With moisture provided by gentle rains from the Atlantic and warmed and nurtured by the sparkling southern sun, these colorful tobacco plants ripen and mature to provide mankind with one of the real comforts and luxuries of life, a satisfying and relaxing smoke. The Old Virginia Tobacco Company, home of famous Humbar cigarettes, the menthol carbonated cigarette, is one of the many big producers in Tobacco Land, USA. Let's go behind the scenes where we see the Old Virginia Tobacco Company in a state of excitement. The quarterly sales report has just arrived, and the big question on everyone's lips is, are Humbars America's yeah, favorite button. cigarette? Next day you have to meet them all face to face. Oh. <laughs> Miss Calhoun, I'm on important business for the big boss himself. These are the latest figures on the campaign to make every man, woman, and child in the whole country a cigarette smoker. Where's that office boy? Here, sir. I I'm coming, Mr. Blue. I'm coming. Take care of these. Here are the quarterly national survey figures, JB. Oh. <gasps> I can't read these with numbers in second. Second? In first place, by one and a half million, Kenyon. Kenyans! In second place, by one million, Humbars. Second. Second. I want Humbars first. I'll give you characters just three more months. One more quarter. By that time, I want every man, woman, and child in the country smoking humbar. On every billboard, radio, and television, on every newspaper and magazine, I want ads in the Boy Scout magazine and every college paper, full-page ads in color. <laughs> uh, and let's not forget the soldier boys and sailors. Especially those in the hospitals. Send them all free cigarettes. I want to help those poor boys on their way. Oh, and speaking of boys, let's not forget the young people. Get ads in every high school paper, their yearbooks, and their weekly reader. Give those kids something for their busy little minds, I always say. And another thing, we need a new slogan. J.B., you know our competitor who says their cigarettes take you away? Well, I've got a better slogan. Now get this. Humbars take you out of this world. Let me think on that one. I've done it, J.B. I've done it. Look. <laughs> 
We gave this mouse the residue from smoking one Hambar cigarette, and it didn't die. There, you see? What did I tell you? Oh, well. Back to the lab. Well, gentlemen, keep a stiff upper lip. As Stonewall used to say, we may have lost a battle, but we all ain't lost a war. Now get out there and sell cigarettes. Yes, sir, J.B. <laughs> Time for America's favorite cigarette. Big Tom Tink was burned by a clinker, and he began to cry. Hey, Daddy, oh, bring me a humber. I'd rather have a San Francisco. Say, folks, while we're waiting here, I just wanted to tell you that humbers are a tinkering man's cigarette. This is your on-the-spot reporter with another unrehearsed interview to find out which cigarette America prefers best. Oh, by the way, sir, which cigarette do you prefer? Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that's a hundred percent for Humbers. Remember, folks, Humber cigarettes take you out of this world. Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Wait! 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 Stop! Halt! Help! Whoa! Hey! 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 Help! 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 He's always into you. He's got a big shot in there right now, but I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, but it's nice to have you back. How was college? Well, it was swell, thanks. Say, don't bother Daddy. Oh, he wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. No, don't bother him. I'll wait. <laughs> How's the All-American? Just fine, Mr. Manning, and you? As they say around the office, it's a smoking pleasure to see you. Boy, oh boy, were you really great on the gridiron last fall. Oh, yes. I followed your every move. And believe me, kid, all of us around the plant here were really proud of you. Are these your brain children here? Real mellow, eh? Real mellow. Well, uh, I've got to be going, kid. That's the way the uh, filter tips. <laughs> well, you'll be around, though, won't you? Yeah, sure, Mr. Man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very satisfactory, Sam. Uh, 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 say, Sam, don't forget to get me down for 500 shares of IBM. Okay, right on the yeah. nose, yeah. Okay. Oh, junior, Junior, am I glad to see you, my boy, my boy. Why didn't you tell us you was coming? We'd have got the band out. Say, it's good to have you home. Good to have you home. Oh, have an apple. Sit down. Rest yourself. Take a load off your feet. <laughs> hey, Dad, what's new around here, anyway? What's new? Oh, oh. Look at that chart. Look at that chart. And look at that rise in sales. Why, we'll have every man, woman, and child between the the ages of 10 and 90 smoking hum bars in this country in the next few years. You know, Dad, from all I've been able to understand, cigarette smoking is really bad for people. In fact, several of the prominent doctors up on the campus say that it's undermining the health of the nation. Nonsense, sir. Nonsense. Oh, of course, we get a few complaints now and then, but uh, we got people who will swear by what we claim about cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we're getting a little less smoking from those people who are afraid of heart trouble, lung cancer, the like, but... If they quit smoking, smokers is just like streetcars. There'll be another one along in a few minutes. Just what is it in cigarettes that's so dangerous? I know about nicotine, of course. Oh, just the ordinary things that you find around the house. <laughs> Tars, arsenic, carbon monoxide, <laughs> formaldehyde. Formaldehyde? You mean embalming fluid? Oh, not enough to hurt you, son. Just enough to tickle your throat. Remember, there's a lot of satisfaction in a good smooth smoke. <laughs> Satisfies the tobacco craving. Tobacco craving? Huh. What you really mean is you've got him hooked. Mm, not so loud, son. That hurts. Say, what they teaching you up at that Yankee University? Bad manners? Dad, I don't mean to be impolite, but look, if cigarette smoking's so bad for people, why do we keep it undercover? Well, son, you may be a great quarterback and a Phi Beta Kappa, but they didn't teach you much. This is a big business, son. And if we scared them, do you think they'd smoke? Why, boy, we've got a big responsibility to our stockholders, our tobacco growers, and our employees. We've just got to sell cigarettes. Even if it means not telling the public what suckers they are? Not so harshly, son. Let, let's just say that we uh, use a little whitewash over the rough spots. <laughs> you know, uh, sort of tell them half-truths. But we're conspiring against the public and getting them to do something by trickery and deceit. Don't rile me, boy. Don't rile me. What would your dear departed mother say to hear you talk like this? Rest her soul. My, but she used to love her humble. J.B., J.B., we've finally done it. Watch this. Nothing's coming through the filter. Do you hear that, son? Nothing coming through the filter. That boy's a genius, just a plain... What do you mean, nothing? That's right, J.B. Nothing. Not even smoke. <laughs> there, there, Waldo. Don't worry. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, one of these days you'll come up with a filter that will satisfy all these anti-smoking campaigns. Thanks, Waldo. <laughs> But, Dad, I thought that ad said that your new filter filled it out in nicotine and tars and all that stuff. It did, son. But then we had to increase the amount of strong tobacco to get the taste back. Yeah. So the filter really isn't any good. But it does sell cigarettes. Is that all we're interested in, Dad? Just selling cigarettes? Come here, son. This will belong to you someday if you'll just smarten up a bit. 
Do you realize what a big industry this is? Us tobacco men earned four and a half billion dollars last year. Yeah. All I can say is that's a lot of money going up in smoke. Watch your lips, son. Watch your lips. Now, this here chart shows the rise of cigarette smoking in the last 10 years. Here we see that lung cancer has increased at the same ratio as uh, cigarette. Oops, a wrong chart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then all those figures that show smoking and cancer really do have a relationship. Smoking could cause cancer. That's a nasty, dirty thing to say, son. A lovely, pure white cigarette causing cancer. It gets me right here. <coughs> but I mean it, Dad. Does cigarette smoking cause cancer? <coughs> well, <coughs> they say it does. We say it don't. But if they're right, smoking could shorten life. Well, what's two to ten years, more or less, son? Remember, the world's too crowded already. Maybe we shouldn't keep it a secret. Well, son, if every cigarette smoker got lung cancer and shortened his life 20 years, we'd still sell cigarettes. Remember, son, money talks. And right now it says for you to quit biting the hand that's feeding you. Well, I don't like it. I don't want any part of it. I feel like a hypocrite having anything to do with making suckers out of the rest of the country when I don't even smoke myself. Well, that's my boy. Hey, what's going on here? Come on, baby. I'll bet you didn't clear this with Dad, Manning. Now get in there, honey, and fight. Nice and close now. That's it. Hold it. Wonderful. Wonderful. JB, we were just coming in. J.B., I, I know you're a very busy man, but can you spare just a moment? J.B., this is it. This is so big, I hate to talk about it. Dad, I want to see you, and you oh. too, Manning. Okay, son, I'll be with you in just a minute. Well, Manning, what is it? Hmm. Uh. Can't you catch the vision of it, J.B.? Junior Beauregard smokes humbars because humbars score for me every time. Or you'll never ask for your quarterback with humbars. But Manny, you all didn't clear this with me. This is Junior. He's my boy. 
Oh, no, you're dead wrong there, J.B. You're dead wrong. Junior Beauregard belongs to all of us, to America. Oh, can't you catch the vision of it, J.B.? Don't you see the publicity value? Junior Beauregard's a famous All-American. If anybody can get the kids to smoke, he can. Listen, Dad, about those photographs, you're not going to use me. Now, don't you all worry about that, son. I've taken care of that. No, sir. <laughs> we ain't going to use it. No. I may be a rough old tobacco man, son, but uh, as for you're not smoking, I'm right proud of you. Uh, this ain't for publication, but... Uh, Frankly, I wouldn't smoke for a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> 